Hi, it's Marietta. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I want to focus on how you find brand deals and then how much should you charge for brand deals as a small YouTuber influencer. Coming up. If you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe hit that bell notification button and let's get started so in today's video i really want to focus on how can you find brand deals especially if you're a small youtuber small influencer and in my next video i will cover how much should you charge as a small youtuber and influencer so let's get started so I started to get these offers, the brand deals offers, when I hit around 30,000 subscribers on my other YouTube channel. And um, I, had, I was lost. I had no idea how much should I charge, how do I negotiate this deal, what do I do. So I really want to make this video to clarify your confusion. And I also want to say that just because you are a small influencer, and small I mean under 30,000 uh, whether subscribers or followers on your YouTube, or Instagram, it doesn't really matter because you can still charge for these brand deals and you can make money. In fact, you can even make multiple five figures, maybe even six figures if you try hard with your small following. So what do you do and how do you even find these brand deals? So I want to say tip number one would be start building your, whether it's a YouTube channel or your Instagram, and be consistent. Now, this is big because especially when you're starting out, when you have a small following, um, in order for you to grow it, you have to stay consistent. And many people think that, oh, I'm just gonna blow up once and then I'm good to go. No, you have to stay consistent and you have to build the trust. Why? Because it's gonna be easier for you to sell and even position yourself as an influencer, even when you have these brand deals coming to you, if you have a trust created. You create a trust with your audience, you provide consistent value to your audience and therefore they will trust you and therefore it's going to be easier for them to buy whatever you share in your video. So whatever the brand deal is, it's based on trust. They want to buy from you based on trust. So therefore stay consistent, okay? Number two is to pick a niche, like niche down. Don't be afraid to niche down. Like it's not a good enough to be broad. Like let me give you an example. When I started my first YouTube channel, which is immigration channel, the niche was immigration. But then I decided to really niche down and I started to focus more on investors, entrepreneurs within immigration. So the brand deal I got was basically offer from a company that is offering loans to business owners and immigrants so it's perfect match so for you to actually attract the brand deal that is the most relevant brand deal you have to have the most relevant YouTube channel most relevant Instagram channel meaning you have to niche down sometimes we don't want to niche down because we want to attract all kinds of people or maybe you feel confused maybe you're lacking clarity and still Therefore, I recommend that you would ask these questions. What problem are you solving? And how are you solving this problem? And lastly, how are you different by solving this problem? And if you actually break this down, you will understand that you are quite special and you don't want to compete with other channels based on, um, based on necessarily just standing out and making as many videos as possible, but based on how you are different and how different you deliver. And that is going to be that positioning, the brand positioning that these brand deals will find very, very, very lucrative and appealing when they approach you. So, for example, if you position yourself as somebody who is talking about nutrition and you are expert in um, nutritious food, cooking and so on, and you are maybe doing some reviews about certain products, it's going to be very easy for you to actually attract company that is selling uh, maybe supplements who need exactly you and your channel because it makes total sense for them to work with you as an influencer, small influencer. It doesn't even matter if you have 5,000 or even 10,000 subscribers. The bottom line is that these subscribers are relevant. 
these are relevant subscribers to your niche and the more niche down you are the better for the brand deal because the brand deal knows exactly what kind of audience they're going to find within your followers and subscribers so keep that in mind and niche down and lastly when you negotiate the price do not undercharge set your price that is reasonable in proportion of the value that you can deliver and not just the metrics what do i mean by that is just because you're not going to reach millions with this video doesn't mean that your value isn't there because you can reach thousand people or two thousand people but these are relevant views think about it what if all these thousand people are super super niche down let's say this company who approached me they need to sell their product their loan to business owners and what if my channel is really niche down and i'm just serving immigrant business owners well then all these views watching my videos most likely will be relevant views for that brand offer brand deal so in other words the more you niche down the more value you can offer to that company that approaches you not because you provide them millions views but you provide them relevant views they want to sell they want to monetize they want to make money they don't care how many views in fact you provide them as long as they make money see so think about the relevancy the, re the relevant views relevant audience is the key and also it's connected with trust the more content you provide the more content chances are that this content will attract more relevant needs and chances are that people trust you more because they see you more often right so that's what the consistency persistent is the key so in my next video i will actually talk about how much should you charge because this is a common uh, question that people are asking especially new influencers youtuber i was asking the same question so in my next video i will break down for you how much you should charge and how do you go about it? How do you actually manage a negotiation process with a brand deal? So that's coming up. Meanwhile, check out these videos, have you started your YouTube channel, have you grow your YouTube channel and stay tuned for my upcoming video. See you soon.